Hello, finishing maidens today. Don't know how I feel about it. It was weird. Let's talk about it. Welcome, my name is Amber Elise. I like books, so I talk about them. If you like to do the same, then you'll enjoy your time here. And today we have a book review on The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. This beauty is a newly released, highly anticipated 2021 read. It's a thriller, it's a mystery, it's a lot of stuff. As usual, I will start with a spoiler-free discussion and then I will get into the spoilers. Let's do this. So this is about a brutal murder that occurred at Cambridge University. Our main character, Mariana, learns about this murder from her niece, Zoe, who attends Cambridge. Obviously, because she's worried that a murderer is on the loose, Mariana goes to Cambridge to see what's going on. Once there, she starts thinking that a man named Edward is involved with the murder. Edward is a very popular Greek tragedy professor at Cambridge, especially amongst this group of girls named the Maidens. And as Mariana tries to connect Edward to the murder, another murder happens, secrets are revealed, and her life is now in danger. My thoughts and feelings on this book. It wasn't really what I was expecting. That's not exactly a good thing, but it wasn't a bad book. There were some really strong points and then some really crazy parts and then some really disturbing parts. It was all over the place, but it was also kind of addicting. This was a weird experience. And I guess that's a good thing. The cons. Our main character. I didn't like her. She annoyed me to no end. Now, there were aspects of her that I liked, but overall she drove me nuts. Don't get me wrong, a lot of thriller and mystery books have that main character that gets involved and doesn't really know what they're doing, but there's usually a purpose. Like their daughter was murdered, or their best friend was murdered, or their friend group is being targeted, something like that. Mariana was involved for no reason. Yes, her niece went to Cambridge. Got it, understood. But from what she knew, her niece wasn't really a target. She played investigator the whole time and she was a terrible investigator. She would miss clues that were like put on a billboard in front of her. And she made some pretty big assumptions with little evidence. Another con would be that we were in Mariana's thought process way too much. Another thing are some of the people and storylines that we read in the book. I don't get why they were there. Oh, another con, I didn't really feel connected to anyone in this book. And that's not really a bad thing, I think, especially in thrillers, but it just, I felt a wall, if that makes sense. Also, this is called The Maidens. The Maidens were discussed quite a bit in the book but I felt like there needed to be more with the Maidens. We really didn't get a lot. We got so much of Mariana and I just didn't see it. And those are my cons. Okay, the pros. The twists at the end were good. Dark and twisted and creepy, but good. The way these chapters were written, beautiful. They're typically three to four pages long, maybe a little longer, sometimes shorter, and I just love it. There was a lot of Greek mythology and Greek tragedy stuff in this book. I found it pretty interesting. Some of it was redundant, but I appreciate having that in there and tying it into the plot. It was really interesting. I said this earlier, but it's definitely something where I couldn't put this book down. Even though so much annoyed me, I couldn't put it down. There are so many school campus stories and I felt like this one made me feel like I was at the school. Mariana is a group therapist in the book. And sometimes I liked how she used her therapy knowledge to help with her investigation. She was still terrible, but I liked that aspect of it. Does this book live up to the hype? For me personally, not exactly. That does not mean it wasn't a decent book or that I wouldn't recommend it, but I was really looking forward to this particular plot and my expectations weren't exactly met. I will say I do like the author's writing style. He has a popular book called The Silent Patient that I definitely plan on reading and may do a review on it. And for my rating, I would give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. That concludes the spoiler free portion of The Maidens. I had a weird experience with this. Keep in mind, this book is kind of dark, kind of weird, twisted, crazy. But I would say give it a shot if you haven't. For those of you who have read it, we're gonna talk about some spoilers because I got a lot on my mind. The spoilers. Who thought Zoe was gonna be the murderer? Not me. I don't know how people were saying that they guessed that. I didn't. Was I surprised? Not really because she was so weird the whole time to me and she was pretty disrespectful sometimes to Mariana when she would bring up Sebastian, her husband. I thought she could be involved in a different way but nothing like what happened. Which what happened is insane. So basically Sebastian, Mariana's husband who she loved dearly and was devastated over his death had an affair with her niece and was plotting to kill her, but he knew it would be suspect if he killed her. So he makes this elaborate plot to kill the maidens and frame the teacher and somehow connect that to Mariana. Too much, too much. Just, just get a divorce, it's fine. The murder was disturbing, but also the fact that that relationship started before Zoe was even legal. That's really messed up. And then Zoe decides to carry out his plan even though he's dead. And she murders those girls because she's mad at Mariana. She had nothing to do with Sebastian's death. He literally went into water during a chaotic storm. Like, why would you do that? But clearly he wasn't a person of sound decisions. And he killed Mariana's father. See that? I would have to wake him up from the dead and handle him personally because 
I don't really get the point of Henry. It was just a really sad plot line. He was just a very disturbed patient of Mariana's and then he almost harms himself. And I guess that was supposed to be a distraction. I don't know, but it seemed kind of unnecessary without more connection or backstory. I don't know what I thought about Edward. He was just strange and disturbing. And I was kind of hoping he wouldn't turn out to be so disgusting, but he was. I'm glad that there was something with Fred. I know the book wanted us to think he was going to be the murderer at different points, but maybe him and Mariana will have a relationship. I don't know. It also never tied up who actually wrote those letters. Like I know we saw the letter that Sebastian wrote to Zoe and that's how Mariana kind of got led into the truth of everything. So were all those letters we read from Sebastian or were they from Fred? I don't know. Maybe somebody could explain that to me. And why didn't Mariana get in more trouble for just taking those postcards out of the victim's rooms? And then she told and nobody did anything to her. And Mariana just seemed so smart, but so not smart at the same time. She would like have all these clues right in front of her, but then be like, Edward. I don't know. It was a lot, y'all. All right, guys, that concludes my book review on The Maidens. If you read this book without giving away spoilers in the comments, let me know if you guessed the murderer because I'm really curious about that. This video has come to an end, but I will be back next week for another one. Until we meet again, go read.